These are swords. Maybe you've heard of them. And I really want to learn how to fight with them. I wonder if we're using real swords or not. Did you say we're using real swords or if I'm using the rubbers? So, my name is Kurt Hofreder. I am a head instructor in uh, Triangle Sword Guild. Sure. My main areas I like to operate off of are more like 14th century, kind of Hundred Years' War mercenary companies in Europe uh, okay. time frames. But before I can start with the big swords, I have to start with the small swords, or the, the Ronalds, I think. These are a couple of what we call rondels. These are wooden daggers. Yeah, and I was close. Like later periods where you see slashing implement, this is much more like an ice pick. Yeah. These are what are called wasters. Okay. They're, they're nice trainers to get people into the motion about how to work things. These right here are synthetics. So typically our beginner classes, we usually start with this right here because cool. there's a lot of flex in this. So they're relatively safe. So. Yeah, I noticed that they all have a bit of a tip on the end. The thrust, the point, is the medium of all the art. So yeah. the point is kind of the point. There you go. Very good. So these are two models of what we call Federschwerts, okay. which is German for feather sword. When you talk about a real sword versus a feather sword, flex is a big thing. So again, safety. So this is, yep. this is a safety tip. Okay. So if I point the thrust into a part of the body, it prevents deeper wounding. Um, so don't, don't do that would be a good safety tip. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. He really liked that one, huh? Next on my agenda of swordliness, learn how to use it. I want you to make sure that you have these two fingers right here. Okay. And I want you to grab it like this, squeeze it real hard. Now never hold it like that again. Okay, got it. Two fingers okay. here, and allow my hand to project forward here. Some of the manuscripts you'll see out there, specifically for Yori, right. you'll see it almost looks like he's holding the base. And holding it this way seems to give you a little more fine motor detail rather than just gripping it and swinging it. And this becomes more of a fluidity game. Yeah, yeah. Not that I have any idea what I'm doing. Long, you're supposed to longer and you're supposed to breve. But the time that we had left in our private was quickly going away and I wasn't picking it up quite as fast as I would have liked to. That's probably my bad. We continue to go over strikes from this fighting style called Fiora. We're gonna extend out, we're gonna end in a position that's down here. Okay. This is what he calls Dente di Chingado. But see, Fiori is not just the name of the style, it's also who the style is named after. It's the oldest martial arts manual from Italy that we can get our hands These on. These are the Copa Fendenti, and you can see how Fiori illustrates where the blade cuts to. Mm -hmm. That's little tiny line stopping at the eyes, and we come right back down. So all of these moves that we're practicing here were written down on paper 613 years ago. Which is probably how long it's going to take me to get this right. But in fact, I don't have any time left anyway. Everything else that I'm going to need to learn to be able to fight with the sword, I'm going to have to learn right before I actually do it. What's the point of the sword? The what? end. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. That's weird. I, I could have sworn I made that joke earlier. When the day finally came, I got to TSG and was met with some pretty sick sword sparring. That's a slice. Yeah, that was pretty cool. <laughs> but at this point, I really only had one thought. Nice. Good. How do I keep getting into this? I'm definitely going to pick up everything within like the first 15 minutes. So Absolutely. So, yeah, it'll Absolutely. definitely all just be right here and I'll gotcha. be able to do it. Fury <laughs> tells us there are four things that we can do with this. We can strike somebody, we can cover, we can bind, and the fourth is we can break. Cool. All right, we're up. Like I mentioned before, we had one montage's worth of information that I needed to learn before I was ready to fully go, so I had to take it seriously. Your first day or two? Yeah, yeah. I can get 200. He can strike me here. Even if he does do this, I can stab him right in the face. It is miserable out here. <laughs> okay, so far, a whole lot of sword. Like, there's at least seven swords over there. What's really cool is all of the implementation of like grappling, especially with a sword. A lot of the times when you think sword, you think like pointy edge, cut, don't get close. And a lot of the stuff that they're doing is super parrying based and it's closer than I would have expected. But what's interesting is that like, when's the last time you held a sword? I would imagine most of this is recreational into maybe even going as far as sport, which is a bit different than martial arts, which is kind of like, ideally what I could do, I could go do out there. I wonder if they could do that here. It's the enemy clan spying on us. They're trying to get all our sword secrets. The practical use of this right here today, I, I don't, I'm not gonna sit there and say like, yep, 
Okay, everyone gets issued a lightsaber here. Yeah. You'll be stopping bullets and all that stuff right here. I mean, but it's it's also, I think it's more about the cultivation itself. But you can have some really good fights. Yeah. But at the end of it all, the thing is being able to listen to the inner voice of like under pressure and stress. Yeah. As well as just like knowing how to use the body. I just realized that he told me to work up. I'm not working good, up. Good, good, good. <laughs> for two. Feel confident. I appreciate it. I would call that over three, probably. Um, maybe depending on the judges, could be like over four. That could count as two losses. Before I moved on to my next opponent, I wanted to have some insider information on him. So what should I do? That don't watch. Center? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You have a good opportunity to hand. He probably said something super useful here. I was trying to be sneaky. I don't know. I didn't hear him. All right, I'm ready. Oh, for four, not important. While technically, yes, I've lost everyone so far, it's only made me stronger and more prepared for my final boss, the Kurt. Okay. I lost, and while I lay there, puddling sweat beneath me, I realized that he even warned me about this move. That's a slice. Yeah, that was pretty, that was pretty cool. <laughs> <sighs> anyway. That was awesome, that was super cool. Um, this is so much fun, guys. Cool. Sorry, sorry I didn't get to go with everybody. I'm like smacked right now. I get all your hundred dollars. We get it. We get it. Thank you, sir. Yeah, that's Thank awful. you, guys. Thank you. Yeah. 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 And that pretty much concludes my life as a master swordsman. I was gonna put a another sword-based pun here, but um, I couldn't come up with any other ones that you know had dual meaning. Anyway, if you like my content and you want to see more, please go check out my second channel uh, where I react to bad fight scenes, good fight scenes, weird YouTube videos, and more.